Welcome to the basics of animal development module. In this talk, we're going to learn about the laws of animal development. We will specifically learn about Carl Ernst von Baer's laws of animal development. There are many common steps involved in the development of organisms. A German biologist named Carl Ernst von Baer stated four laws in 1828 that have been widely accepted by embryologists. In fact, he's sometimes considered as the father of embryology. According to his first law, the general features of a large group of animals appear earlier in development than do specialized features of the smaller group. Now to understand this law, let's look at this picture. So if you look at the embryo from a lizard and a human that is shown here, they look similar very early on in development. It should be remembered that lizards and humans look very different from one another in their adult form. However, they both are vertebrates and hence belong to the same group and that is why during embryonic development, they have a tendency to show a lot of similarities as observed in this picture. The second law states that the less general characteristics develop from the more general until finally the most specialized appear. So going back to the example of humans and lizards, the fully formed human and lizard organisms have different features. And these specialized features will form only after the general features form. The third law states that the embryo of a given species, instead of passing through the adult stages of lower animals, departs more and more from lower animals. So let us take the example of human development. So here we're looking at a fertilized egg that is undergoing mitotic divisions. And based on Carl Ernst von Baer's law, what it states is that this developing embryo is not going to become a worm and then a lizard and then finally a human. That is simply not how it works. What will happen is that the human embryo will undergo its own stages of development to ultimately form a human. And hence, the embryonic stages will depart more and more from lower animals in the later stages of development. The fourth law builds on the third law and states that the early embryo of a higher animal is never like a fully formed lower animal, but only like its embryo. Thus, the embryo of a human is similar to embryos of lower animals in the early stages. And that is what we can see here in this figure, where we can observe and compare the development of different types of vertebrates and how they look very similar in the early stages of development. However, more specialized features appear as development progresses, and thus they never form a fully formed lower animal but their embryonic stages look similar to those. With this, we come to the end of this talk where we learned about Carl Ernst von Baer's laws of animal development.